They don't know where to run when they can't hear where it's coming from. That's why I shoot banished 46 on this. Okay, whatever. I, I don't know. What is that? Is that appropriate? Like tonight it's lights out, but it's pulsars on. <laughs> I missed it. Is that your pulsar? Or are you happy to see me? Thermal in sight, silent at night. Let's get it. No lines, don't threaten me with a good time. A little bit of muscle enough, don't bother me. Yeah, keep spinning and spinning, keep pushing them limits. We yelling and hollering out in it to win. It. And when the job gets done, it's a celebration. My name is Nick Foster. I am a private chef for the outdoor industry. So what we got here is we have a little wild pig backstrap. And right now we're just cleaning off some of the silver skin, some of the tough stuff that you can't really eat on them. And then we're gonna rub it down with a little salt, pepper, garlic, throw it on the grill. And then we're gonna finish it with a chipotle raspberry barbecue sauce. And anything you can do with store-bought pig, you can do with this pig as well. Working in the restaurant industry, you really couldn't enjoy the outdoors. And so I started looking for ranches that were looking for a chef that I could get back to hunting and fishing and enjoying all, you know, what life has to offer for you. There's so many different things you can do with it. Not everyone's willing to touch it. So this is indirect grilling. We're using the, the heat in the oven to rise the temp and then we'll hit it with a hard sear and finish it with that chipotle raspberry barbecue sauce on the outside of it. Oh man, that's one of the best joys of this, is seeing somebody like, oh my God, I can do that with it. Got much going on these days. I seen a lot of work, but I ain't seen no pay. I seen people passing me in another lane. Heard folks trying to be what they ain't. What you see, what we feed cattle is almost the exact same stuff that we eat as humans corn. Okay. It all ends up from field to table. And everything in that process is touched by a hog in some fashion or form. So all that disease that they're in introducing into your food lot yeah. ultimately could potentially end up on my table. It could, yes. Just sang the words, folks can't fail. Words I've been living since the day. Started rolling down. So the pigs will actually get up in these troughs and walk down these troughs and eat this grain and this vegetation. This you mean they, they straight up walk down it? Oh yeah, they'll get up in it. They'll, they'll crawl up in it <laughs> and, and, and just go down through here eating. You, could you imagine 60 hogs in here eating for eight hours straight? They'll clean this trough out in a night. Then what do my cows got to eat? Right. Now. Plus, it's just some torn up dirt near a pond in a, in a field. Yeah. But the, ultimately. Yeah, you think that they're just tearing it up and eating. Well, they're urinating, defecating. Yeah. And their saliva is full of all kinds of nasty bacteria. They carry diseases. So everything they're putting in the ground, as soon as you get rain one off that goes into the pond, or they go in the pond and create the same acts. It's as simple as having a, a low spot. I mean, they could run underneath. When it comes down to is they're fun to hunt. They are. They are fun to hunt. It's something you can do year round. And you, there's no bag limit, no size restrictions, no nothing. Well, in states like Texas, you don't even necessarily need a license. You don't even need a, you don't need a license. Yeah. Race down south to raise good hell. Don't take no lip, but I give it well. Oh, God, no woman never held me down none. 20 something years, we can have it. I'm all yours, best bad habit. Ask your girl if I get the job done. I'm nobody's man. Everyone's proud. 
like the colder hunts. <sighs> Just wish I didn't shave all that hair off my chest. Okay, so we'll stock up. When we get as close as we can, as we're stocking up, we're gonna be in single file. So shooter, shooter, they hear us, you drag your feet, you stop, you stumble. They're gonna hear that and they're gone. He's my little heart. I got two running off here. Shot behind him. I'm out. Dang it, we suck. Right. I'm gonna put a call up there. A remote caller. Here it's gonna have a whining rat and screaming. Three hundred yards ahead of us, dead ahead, right there. Two coyotes. Down this other side of the valley, up the hill, marking the fence line. A group of hogs took off. Two hogs took off. Two hogs took off. Two hogs took off. Probably about twenty or thirty strong. Now we've got coyotes reconvening as a group. Make some calls out this way. There were two on this fence line. One over here. So we're, as they say, right in the zone. The thick of it. Best of fell in a while. Slaying naked by my closet door. Listen to me, they go. Now, try to pull forward now, Andy. All right, here we go. Y'all need to be filming this because this shit happens, man. I'm just trying. We don't come next to you today. Yeah, but. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's too far out of range now. That was tough because he wasn't stopping. He wasn't stopping. That's hunting, Bubba. That's how it goes. You win some, you lose some. Yeah. But that's part of the thrill. That's part of the fun. Look at that. Pretty. <laughs> All right, let's roll.